Good evening, everyone. I take pride in this class, which shares great tenacity, strength, and dedication. The class that has never backed down from a battle, whether it was a win or defeat, this class has delivered the best of responses, as well as the actions to support their words. As freshmen, though we were new on campus, let's face it, we were already running this place. From remembering our gym locker combinations to the most hyped football games, championships practically came with DP, and in our eyes, this is what made high school fun. Now we look back on every late night and early morning now that we're seniors. We look back on the many cups of coffee that our parents and doctors didn't recommend, but we absolutely needed, and the countless amounts of paper and ink that were used to turn in those gruesome English essays, which, by the way, were enough to break the library printer about a thousand times, but that's okay. This year has shown just how courageous and persistent this class is. No matter the hardships or discouragements, our, we still rock this year. Whether it was Michaela Butsky being a beast on every court and field that this campus has, to Kathy Ramirez Gijon receiving every scholarship that could possibly exist, to Phoebe Apple, Isaac Hernandez, and Nevaeh Harrington taking performing arts to the next level, to Sierra Thomas and Justin Rasmussen making band even better than what it once was, and to my senior class officers, Olivia Geiling, Nate Felthaus, Jessica Yamasaki, and Katie Wilcox, who worked tirelessly to make this year as memorable as it could possibly be. There is no doubt that our class made an impact on this campus. As we started the year off with our senior sunrise, we were celebrating our last year of our life at DP. Our new turf and field got to be broken in. The class who had the biggest homecoming court that DP had ever seen. How does a school really feature over 50 clubs and organizations, 14 princes and 15 princesses within 20 minutes? Come on. Only our senior class advisor, Debbie DeLuan Bow, could pull that off. We reflect on the times we were supporting our athletes at a game, gathering in the Greek for a pep rally, or celebrating our peers' college acceptances. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the unspeakable tragic events that occurred this year. Not too long ago, we as a campus and community were struggling with the shocking back-to-back -back devastation. There was a period when all of us were trying to grasp our reality. But we came together, we grieved together, and we did the best we could to hold each other up in the midst of the struggles. We stayed united, and the compassion and kindness of this class never once dimmed, but brightened. As I look across your many cars, for many of you, I can say I know your dreams, your fears, and your stories. While being the first ever African-American senior class president of Dos Pueblos, especially during a time like this, I couldn't be more honored to serve such diverse authentic and supportive individuals such as yourselves. As we end this chapter in our lives and begin a new one, I hope you all accept every single opportunity that is given to you. You walk through every door that is open and you spread the same love and the same joy that you've shown on this campus for the past four years. Remember to always live in the present. Don't worry yourself sick about the future or make yourself sad about the past. This class was created to change the world for the better. So go on in life and remember that there is always a difference to be made. It has been my honor to serve you all as your senior class president, and I cannot wait to see what life has in store for us all. So at this time, I have the distinct privilege of asking you, along with me, raise your sunflowers out of your windows Everyone have their sunflowers out the windows. <laughs> End with me, move your tassel from your right to your left. 
Congratulations, my fellow seniors, the class of 2020.